doing some shopping here. There's, as All you right. can see, there's a lot of fresh fruits. Yeah, and so many fresh produce right here. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious, why Thailand out of everywhere else you chose to study? It was a place that I could do research that I was interested in. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, uh, with all the climate science, there's a lot of predictions that a good portion of the world is going to see a severe drought. So if the right actions aren't taken, there's a good chance that we'll run into a severe food shortage within the next couple of years. Well, it's hard to imagine when you see so much around. That's so true. There's literally like bucket loads of these rice right here. Well, I mostly focus on root traits. I don't necessarily look at the finished product and then out in the field. You kind of have to have that field as hard evidence to show that like, yes, this can actually help people. My main uh, focus on my research is looking or how I'm trying to reduce uh, water use uh -huh. in rice. Most of the rice in Thailand that's grown is grown traditionally using rain to keep the levels of water and to keep the um, base of the rice submerged. Yep. But we've seen that a lot of varieties in Thailand are actually not able to move from the traditional yep. paddy field to the drier soil. And I'm hoping that the plants are able to adapt and then grow with less water. So in the event of drought or less rain, farmers are still able to grow and produce the same amount of rice that they were able to um, before. All right, sounds great. We need to look at the roots. So in order to do that, we got to wash the dirt off. All right, that and looks then, like a whole lot of dirt yeah. on a very little plant. Yeah. Most samples you've gotten in one, one sort of like outing? I think the most I've collected was 60 in a day. And I, wow. that took all day. I was in the river. Oh, wow. William is one of our best graduate students in the program, and he's a very good addition to our root lab laboratory. Um, at MUSC Root Lab, we are one of a very few places on the planet, actually, that study root traits. We focus on the study of physiological utility and genetics that control root traits. We try to understand the below-ground traits, which include roots and bacteria and fungi. In Thailand, uh, we have several uh, useful resources. Um, we have our own germplasm, which provide uh, such a diversity in terms of roots. And now we are trying to understand and make use of it in agriculture and environmental issues. What is your end goal for this research project of yours? How would you like to see this um, research being applied to real world problems? Well, I'm hoping that farmers being able to grow their rice in drier conditions, which will help farmers in Thailand, other countries, even well-developed countries. Wow. It's really amazing to see someone who's so foreign. You're from California, and you're so fascinated with this thing is, um, that's very distinctively Thai. Thank you so much for your information today, and I wish you all the best in your research. Oh, thank you for joining me.